I didn't know what was going on with my child. I just knew she was kind of like busy and I was going to the doctors. They weren't telling me anything. It really pretty much nobody was there at the time to help me. I was struggling a little bit with um, aggression. Pushing, flipping over chairs, pushing tables. We had a great difficulty with a severe biting situation in the toddler room and we were on the brink. If you'd have told me 20 years ago in my YMCA career that we'd have behavior problems with three-year-olds and four-year-olds, I would have said that that's impossible. Uh, today we're dealing with uh, family issues and behavior issues with young children that we simply can't cope with all by ourselves. You need a team. The TAPS program was developed because children in preschools were getting expelled at an alarming rate and the children were really getting set up for failure before their school career even began. Toddlers and Preschoolers Succeeding program really is meant to be a partnership with other child care centers. It's a true collaboration. The child care are the experts in what they do. And then we, as Child Guidance and Family Solutions, are the mental health experts. And when we partner together, we can see some amazing things. I'm a good listener. I can do it. The behavior specialists come in and they work with the children that show aggressive or emotional challenges. They help us learn what we're doing right and how we could do things better. The behavior specialist helped me with my classroom management, helped give me ideas on how to handle difficult behaviors, and really promoted a sense of can do within our classroom. I can do it. We use the DECA program, the Devro Early Childhood Assessment. Um, a teacher does a DECA evaluation on every single child, and then children that have areas of concern in either attachment, initiative, self-control, or in behavior concerns, we look at those children a little bit closer, and we have the parents do an evaluation, and then we can compare the parent assessment and the teacher assessment. It's just so exciting to see how different parents respond when they feel empowered, and that's what we're here to do. We just want to work with them. And even teachers get into this, you know, have to have to know all their alphabet numbers, all their sight words, all their letters, and all their colors, and all their numbers. And those things are important, but the TAPS program has enabled us to provide support for our children socially and emotionally, which is equally important. I can do it. For a center to be able to say to their parents, we can make your kids ready to learn. They're going to be more successful in school because of you attending this child care center in comparison to the neighboring child care center. Because we have child guidance and family solutions on site. I can do it. I'm in a good center. I feel so empowered by the tools that she has given me and it's just been wonderful. We can do it. Out of all the 22 years I've been teaching daycare, I thought I knew pretty much everything and you know I could learn a little something. With this TAP program, I learned a lot. They are doing it. I can take turns. If we can build a three-year-old's resiliency to be in, have initiative and to build their attachment and their self-control, then they're not going to be in our office when they're 10 and they're 15. I can do it. Any tools I could get when it comes to raising my children, I will gladly accept because I only have one chance to do this and I want to make sure it's done correctly.